in the making here with Team Efforts Network. A dawning of a brand new day, new beginnings begin. All your dreams come in reality. All your goals are being met. Everything you so desire in 2015, it is yours if you are willing to take action. This is a great day here at Team Epic Network. Wonderful things is continuing to unfold. Tonight, we will hear from our very own CEO, Mel Pill, and all the questions and the concerns that we have in regards to gold platinum are going to be laid out, played, and simple. I'm just telling you, family, be ready to take action. Well, you have dialed into the Team Epic Lifestyle Call, and this is your host, Pastor Denise McDowell, along with my business partner, One Star, Pastor Joe Whitmer. Family, the line is open. Give me your name. Where are you calling in from? Michael McLean from Brookville. Well, welcome to the summit. Sheila Taylor McDuffie, Atlanta, Maryland. <laughs> Maria, <laughs> welcome to the Executive founding member Maureen. Executive founding member Maureen Murphy Smith is ready to go. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know you're ready, Maureen. Girl, you woke me up what four o'clock this morning? <laughs> yes, I found it in the back office. I found it. I'm not it's here it's in the back office. I can't believe it. <laughs> I had to tell somebody. <laughs> well, thank you for waking. Thank you for waking me up to such great news. I love it. <laughs> Good morning, Pastor Denise. This is Maria from Santa Maria. Hi, Maria. How are you, dear? Fine. Thank you. And I'm excited. I'm platinum now. Oh, this is our day, Maria. This is our day. Yes, it is. Keep it, keep it coming. Martin D.C. in the house. Platinum time. Platinum time. Platinum time indeed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, we're ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Linda McLean from Brookville. Woo! Hey, Linda. Welcome, girl. Hi, Pastor Denise. Great day for us, Linda. Great day for us at Team Ever Network. That's right. Great day. Lloyd, get Come to on, California. We're moving on up Woo! like four temperatures. Woo! What do you say, Lloyd? Pick your spot and stay in the top, right? <laughs> That's right. Pick a spot going to the top. We're moving up like Georgia. Woo-hoo! Oh, let's go. Let's go. On the way to platinum, platinum, platinum. On the way to platinum. Right. Don't try it. Platinum, 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 on the way to platinum. Come on, y'all. Today is the day, Pastor Denise, that dreams are begin to come true. It, it's unbelievable, so let's go. Let's go. I'm a boy, man. I'm a boy. Keep it coming, man. One star, two star, five star, ten star, L.A. Platinum Anderson is in the building. Oh, that's right, L.A. Woo! What the money? Woo! I hear you, L.A. Keep it coming, family. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. The show time, platinum, 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 platinum. I hear you, L.A. Anderson. One star, two star, five star, five star, ten star in the making. What do you want? What did you choose? How hard did you work? What action did you take? Because you know what, family? You know this is the day. I know this is the day. This is the day for those who have put on those shoes, who laced them up. Look, the whistle will blow tonight. When Mel Gill say go, who is going to be in the race taking, ready to take action? Or who is going to be sitting by the wayside waiting to see? I sure hope none of you on this call or know about what's happened today have the audacity to say I'm still going to sit and wait. I can't believe it if you have made that choice right there. I can, tonight is tonight, family. Tonight is tonight. As we know, Mel Gill, at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific. 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 
going to give us the four, the full 401 on the trim, the going platinum, the compensation plan, the auto ships, the fast start, the team builder, all of it is going to be laid out tonight. Get your team on the phone and listen. The very same number tonight. You want to be there to get all the information firsthand. No guessing. You're going to know. And then be prepared to take you and your team. Take action. Upgrade. Go to platinum. And just sit back and smile. <laughs> this is going to be a happy, 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 happy day. I can't wait. Um, this is another history in the making. You know, we keep having these history-making days here at Team at the Network. And you guys just ought to look up and kiss God because his favor is upon you. He is smiling upon you and all these blessings. It's really like the windows of heaven have opened upon you. And he is just pouring out blessings. You don't even have room to receive it, do you? It's just coming and coming and coming. Just reach up and take it because it's yours for the taking. Well, I tell you, I'm, I'm excited. I hear that you all are very excited. Uh, so you know you've seen the vision, you're running with it, and you've gathered around to even get the rest of the information. But we have another great leader on the call with us today. You know what? I, I call him my secret weapon. <laughs> when I call him to the call, oh, you know what? I ain't playing. I, I, this is it. If he don't wake you up, you just need to check your pulse because you might not be with us. This gentleman has been with Melanie McGill since Melanie McGill started. The very, he's number one. He's a top recruiter. He's all over YouTube breaking down the compensation plan showing people how to get wealthy. He's the king of recruiting. He's the king of retail. He will lay it before you and let you know what it is straight up, straight up. He's a man of God. He's a man of love and passion. Um, he's, a matter of fact, Vicky Soto's upline, and he's grown a tremendous team since he's been with our picture company, My Video Talk, and he's done the same thing here uh, with our 10. Uh, and we're just glad to have him on our team, a man of wisdom, God-fearing man, and I'm just excited to hear what he's going to share with us today. So, family, introduce him to some and just letting others know, some of us already know who he is, and introduce him to others. Let's welcome to the call none other than Mr. John Peavy. John Peavy, are you there, man? I most certainly am, <laughs> Pastor Denise. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. You know, we got a double fortune today. We got you this morning. We're going to have Mel this evening. I'm telling you, we're going to be flying before this day is out. <laughs> it is, you know, there's some great excitement in, uh, hearing it uh, from different uh, team members on the calls. Uh, we're in a good place, uh, in a good place with a great company, uh, with a good place in a great company. Yes, absolutely. Well, Mr. TV, I know your heart speaks. And I just want to move aside because I know you've been listening and watching and you've been with uh, Team Effort International from the very beginning. You know Melanie McGill. You know the company. You know this compensation plan. You've seen people uh, grow healthy. Now you you hear the testimony where people are getting uh, not just wealthy but healthy from our vitamin spray products. So I just want to move out the way and just let your heart speak. All right. Listen, uh, thank you, uh, Pastor Me, Pastor Dale, um, uh, all of the, the leaders. We really appreciate uh, you guys. I, 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 I was sitting back reminiscing. You know, I get up at 530 every day uh, for prayer. I'm on the West Coast. It's just that's automatic. That's something. It's a commitment that I've, uh, I've made. This is, this is me. And... After uh, uh, prayer, I started thinking about what I wanted to really share with the, you know, with the, uh, with the family. And okay. as I look back over my uh, uh, life, it's been uh, this year will be ten years since I've been full time. Um, I work it make you know what in. You know, in the corporate America, uh, you know, back in, you know, uh, 97, 98, I was making real good money, you know. But while I was working my nine to five and uh, learning and being the salt and being a light and, you know, doing those different things, times when uh, I wanted to take time off for my wife's anniversary or birthday, 
you know, the doc said, no, you can't, you can't take this. You can't have this off. Uh, I'm like, man. And then I'd be at work and I'm looking outside. I'm like, man, it's a nice day outside, you know? Um, and it was at that time I knew that, okay, this is not something that I want to do for, I, I don't want to work a nine to five job for the rest of my life. <laughs> Bottom line, um, a lot of people don't know my story. And there was a there was a, a millionaire elder at my church that uh, back in what maybe 2000, uh, 2001, uh, that he said, John, what are you doing this Saturday? That's like, I'm, you know, me and the family are gonna go to the beach, do some different things. And he said, No, what are you gonna do this Saturday? Uh, that's going to put a quarter million dollars in your pocket. Now, up until this time, I never even thought or even that a quarter million dollars, I, I could never even at that time imagine me making a quarter million dollars in a year. It was just like far-fetched, you know, because up until that time, the most that, that I've made, you know, and this is back in 2001, I barely was pushing 50000 you know, working and, you know, and doing what I was doing. And But up until that time, I had people – who were ignorant, and when I mean ignorant, not that they're dumb, they were ignorant to network marketing and what it was. And I was listening to people that I trusted in and believed in, and they said, if you got anybody to come talk to you about this circles and this pyramid, and you go to jail, it's scams, and you know, and I just rejected it until this millionaire elder at my church did it. Man, I went in, and my eyes were open. I saw the light, what I've been looking for. <laughs> and uh, what I was looking for all that time, I was like, man, these guys, and, and I'm listening to some guys that became uh, uh, my mentors, and I'm looking at checks, you know, I, this was 30000 and 70000 this week and last week, and this was back in 2002, 2003. I'm like, Wow. And I'm looking at all the stories, and I'm like, how can he do this? So they said, this is what you do. I said, this is what I want. And then, and I signed up. I became a top recruiter in that company, um, uh, a top earner in that company. And they started using a technology then uh, to market the, the company. And I'm like, how are you doing that? And eventually, uh, they went to a streaming technology company like my video talk. And I became one of only five African Americans to make double diamond and triple diamond in that in, in that company. Um, and uh, and one year later, I was able to retire out of corporate America. Now I had a plan, and every day, I I I, I went to work from six to two thirty. I was committed. I said, one year, I'm going to be retired out of corporate America. Even after one year, when my income far surpassed what I was making on my job. Um, I was still, I was still, uh, what can I say, nervous about giving up the security. What you might say, well, I got a definite check. I go out and I work eight hours, and as long as I work, I know that I'm going to get this eight hours. And it took so much. We, we purchased a brand new home, um, and then my wife, she stopped working, and because we, you, you know, and I was like, oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I gave my notice. But know this, every week, every two weeks, I would go in and would tell them, listen, I'm going to be giving my, 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 I'm giving my one-year notice. And then every, as it was going down, and when it got close to it, I wasn't going to, you know, I stopped talking about it. But then I said, well, I'm going to get my two-week notice. And we did that. And it's been 10, over 10 years that I've been um, out of corporate America. Now, have there been ups and downs? Has there been trials, tests? Are, are there things that what you go through, you know, with your organization um, and different things? Um, yes. Uh, but my conviction and my commitment to me and my family have never changed. Um, you know, uh, it never has. And when I met Mel and Amy Gill in 2010, Going five years ago, I was the, the company we was with. When I saw this compensation plan, the same compensation plan that made million, multiple multimillionaires overseas, 
and it was going to be the first here in the United States, being one of the first in the compensation plan in the United States when they brought it here. I was, uh, it, it was, uh, I was number one. Even though I was first, there was a lot of other people that were also here when it first opened in the first month. But guess what? Some of them didn't stick to it. Some of them had were. Um, and, it, and it's their choice. They chose to work three, four, five different companies, which me, I said, no, I see this company, I see the compensation plan, and I've seen hundreds, literally hundreds of compensation plans that I've been to presentations and, 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 and look went through these compensation plans. And even since I've been in this company, people will come, I'm looking at, i, I got to look at compensation plan to see what is out there and because other people are going to get in that, you know, or they call me and say, hey, John, is this a good compensation plan? I'm like, it's been five years, and this has been the only compensation plan that I've been a part of. And the and for with what, what Mel and Amy is getting ready to roll out, what they have and what they're doing, you know, because one company I was with, at the end of the month, I was nervous. I literally had to pay a couple or a few thousand dollars out of my pocket to get a $5,000 bonus, to get a $7,000 bonus. And to me, paying money to get bonuses back, you know, you know, okay, well, this person needs three customers, and this person didn't pay their this and this. And I think I'm like an air traffic controller at the end of the month, making sure that everybody got what they got so I can make sure, you know, and I'm like, ah. Oh. But then when 10, I mean, uh, well, at that time, my video talk, a team after the international, can, I looked at that compensation plan. Mel was on a, a presentation at midnight, California Pacific time, and during a presentation, I sat, and that day, um, that next day, uh, I, I, I called a few people, got them on the call. Vicki Soto was one of them. I left a message with her, and I said, Vicki, this is it. I need you to make sure you call me back. And she was one of the first in the uh, in the uh, here as well. And in reminiscing on that, many of us on this call right now, whether or not if you are um, a stay-at-home mom or if you're still working your nine-to-five job, here's the thing that I really want um, uh, uh, you to go. There's two things I want to talk about. Um, about your plan um, and and how other people uh, perceive you, and and you got to know how they are. See, the reason why, and I'm not the best recruiter, but I'm 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 very very good. I'm very good at recruiting, um, and it's not because I was born that way. It's because I work at it. I, when I first started, and I, that's it. There's not anything that somebody is good at, you can be as good or even better at it if you are committed and willing to do what it takes to do that. Um, uh, uh, Michael Jordan um, and LeBron wouldn't be as skilled and as good as they are in basketball if every day they didn't get up, commit, focus, go through the drills every single day. If they only tried playing basketball once a year, um, just once a year, they wouldn't be where they're at. On this, uh, on where we're at, uh, there's two different things uh, that uh, I want you to know when you're out talking to people, because as good as this compensation plan is, as good as the products are, as good as the amount of money and the potential for you to literally come off your job to make 30000 a week or to make 50000 a month or whatever your goals may be, it won't happen unless you take action. And you just can't take action just during this little momentum phase. See, this guy, it has to be so deeply ingrained in you for when, if you personally sponsor seven people and your organization go from seven to uh, uh, 90, and then three months from now, your group and one of your legs go back down to where you've got five people on one side and two people on the other. What are you going to do when life and situation? Because the people that did first start with you, that was excited, they saw the compensation plan, they loved the product, but for whatever reason, they got distracted. 
for whatever reason, they chose to stop paying their authorship. They chose to stop being a part and involved in the ten tasting parties and being around. But what are you going to do? Are you going to shrink back and allow the choices and decisions of other people to bring shade over your dream, over your goals? If you did it once, you did it again. My organization has grown to thousands, tens of thousands. And then you had think people that come get things to happen in your organization and it went down to hundreds or even thousands. But did I stop? Did I give up? I made this commitment to myself. I said even if my top and best leaders that I help and groom and, and all these different things if they leave, because I believe in this compensation plan and Mel and Amy, I'll find other leaders and other people. And then if they leave or for whatever reason get unfocused, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to find some more. And I'm going to find some more. Because here's the one thing that I know for sure, that of all of the compensation plans that I've seen, that I've seen and went through, that I've looked at, and people are showing checks and these different things. And when, when, you all, when it's all said and done, I said, how much work did it take for you to get that? And can the average person truly make money in that compensation plan and get checks like that? Yeah. And the answer is no. Here with, with Mel and Amy is it, it, getting ready to roll out and the things of what they're getting ready to do. I want you to, um, uh, and I, I'm going to leave that comment of what I was getting ready to say for the last, success. Success never goes on sale. And most people spend their entire lives hemming and hawing over the cost of success, but never really making the purchase. The price for success, it is high, but then again, so is the price of failure. One enjoys the fruit of their success, yet suffers the recurring pain of the failure to act. What stops you from, from continuing to persevere on, on and on and on? I don't care if your gifts, your talents, your energies, they're given to you for a short time here on the earth for you to impact people. There's things down on the inside of you, no matter how insignificant you may feel or think that you are. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. A person has one life in which you have to do something. So let me ask you this question. What do you want? I'm talking to you. Listen very closely to what I'm saying. What do you want? Do you, what do you want? Do you really want what you, what you say? And let me ask you this next question. What does it cost? And then I'm going to give you this command. I want you just to pay for it. Why is success so difficult? But truthfully, it's success. Success is simple, but it's just not easy. I, I want you to get this. I just said something that was uh, key. It is simple, but it's not easy. I'm going to give you a formula that what I've been doing for quite some time, and there was a multimillionaire that I didn't know it at the time, but I was doing it. And he said, you plan, you do you check and you adjust. You gotta have a plan. Then you gotta do the plan. Then you gotta check to see if the plan is working. And if it's not working, then you got to make some adjustments. Now this will work in any area of your life, just not business. And if anybody knows me, um, this is what we're saying. The reason why your business will fail or work is you. You work harder on you than you do on this business, your business will succeed. If your mind is always and you're around negative people, people that talk down, dream stealers, negative people down, they're very pessimistic, and you're a 
surround them consistently and what you put in, what you allow to go in your ear gates and what you hear every single day and what you see that failure, can't do it, can't do it, guess what? I 100% know that your business and many areas of your life is going to be what's coming out of your mouth. But if you're around people, listening to positive information, uh, because if I put gasoline in a bottle, the only thing that's going to come out is gasoline. You can't put gasoline in and expect water to come out. The only thing that's going to come out. So what you surround yourself with on a consistent basis. Why is success difficult? It only requires three steps. Now, here it is. It's so difficult because each step gets progressively harder. Most people can identify what they want. You know you want to be a one-star, a two-star, a five-star, or a ten-star in ten. You know what you want. You will even check and you know the type of commitment it's going to take to achieve it. But here's the key. Only a few select will apply the steps to cons- that they need to do to consistently pay the full price of what it takes to get there. It's not a lack of talent or time or opportunity that denies a person's success. Rather, it is lack of a singular focus on what you truly want. See, because there's many people that's made one star, two star, five star, ten stars in our, you know, in, in the sister company, and it's the same compensation plan. So, and why are some people sponsoring and, 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 and recruiting and getting 10 people uh, a month and some people are getting no people? It's because you went to that one person and they said no, that you stopped. Okay, no, you're going to get better. And I guarantee you, the reason why I know that I'm good and I've got confident in a lot of different things because I've talked to so many people, heard so many no's. Did it one time, discouragement, try to set on me because I talked to 100 people in one month and only one person signed up? Is that crazy? I mean, I talked to 100 people. I got their names. I got the date and the time that I talked to them, and only one person signed up? But guess what? The the, the, the thing that got me and the, what me that I learned so much in learning people that I got better and I know how not to internalize uh, the nose. Here's the thing, and I'm getting ready to um, uh, to close it down. A person must be willing to surrender who they are at this current time in order to become who they need to be in your in your quest to reach your goals. The price that few are willing to pay. And the reason you need to game plan, you know, because if you don't have a plan, like this this plan that Mel and Amy and them are getting ready to roll out, I mean, I've been there. They're getting ready to do some things that is going to change your life literally forever. They're going to tell you exactly what to do, how to do it, and if you're not talking to people every single day if and and if you're talking to people every single day and for whatever reason they're not responding remember plan you got to have a plan you got to do the plan and then you got to check so if people are not responding to me it must be in my approach maybe i'm talking too much maybe i'm i'm not saying the right thing so you got to check the plan that you're doing five year plans are reasonable time frames and all these different things we want you want to get to five star overnight. No, it takes some time. Can you make five star overnight, ten star overnight? Yes, but guess what? It's going to take some work. It's going to take some action. This is the thing. One must realize that the price of success is not purchased in a lump sum. Instead, it's paid in daily installments over time. What we've been doing and being on these calls every single day. Guess what? You're paying. This is it. And if every day when you wake up in the morning, if your mind 
if you're if you if you're trying to retire out of corporate America, if you don't have um, goals and things on my phone, um, you know, because we're starting our ministry, I've got I got pictures and different things on all my computers of the house. I've got buses and um, uh, community centers, and I've got homes and houses and halfway houses, and I'm looking at what I'm going to have. I've got to have a vision. I've got to see where I'm going. If you want to be five-star, ten-star, and all of those different things, every game plan must be developed, performed, checked, and adjusted based on the data that you get. If you're going out talking to people for whatever reason that they're not signing up, or maybe you need to have somebody else on the phone with you to close them. Maybe it's some of the things of what you're saying. You, 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 it's not it's not the opportunity and sometimes it's not even you it's them it's because they're negative they can't receive it they they've been they've been sold a bag of goods um uh, that they've been sold a bag of goods that you know that oh, this stuff doesn't work um so all of you i can go on and on there's a lot going on in my mind and you know me being in a ministry i want to preach and teach a lot of different things i just want to encourage you as an individual, if you have your goals and the different things you want to do um, to be full time, to to come out of corporate America, 100%, you can. Don't allow negative people, negative team members, even sometimes um, uh, close spouses, family members. Um, you know that that's a touchy subject there too. Um, somebody quit. Um, negative people, you keep going on. Don't allow this compensation plan. And I, I'm telling you, some of us on here, um, you know, um, you know, if you really singularly focus on this company, team effort network, ten, ten by ten, what's getting ready to roll out, and focus on this two to three years. Don't do anything else. Just focus on it plan every every day to what you do this if you work this i'm telling you for the rest of your life you will be truly rewarded for it and the reason why it's been five years since i've been from day one when they started from my video talk to 10 to now we got trim by ten and all the things of what they're doing. There's been some ups and downs, and a lot of different things, and that comes. That that all comes with life. But guess what? It's it's. It, I'm still being rewarded. I'm still being rewarded. Still being rewarded. Mel and Amy's gonna roll something out, and you all need to take closer, take action. See, on this call today, there's there's gonna be many people that's gonna come up with so many excuses. Well, this and that, and that, and that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that, what all you got to do is cheat. That's what it's going to be saying. And watch this. And then what, what people will say, well, they, they went one star, two star because of this. Why are you making excuses? No. You, it, it, your, your business is going to grow because of you, and it's going to fail because of you. I, 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 you know, you got it. That's, that's it. It ain't nobody else. Don't look at this. Well, are you going to help me put some more people over here? What are you doing? What? How many people are you talking to? Don't rely on Fastdale and the overflow and the people that's coming in. No, what are you doing? How many people are you? Because if you don't have no skin in the game, you're not getting up and going on a different thing, and sooner or later, you know, it's, it, it's just like a hope. It's just something in your mind. It ain't in your heart. You know, it's something like, that's just like how a uh, uh, faith, faith, until it really gets into your heart, you know, you can have a belief. A lot of people say they believe, but they really don't believe. Now, when it gets down in your heart, then that's when it becomes faith, and it truly it, it's in you. Because as long as it's in your head, there's a lot of things in your head, but you want it in your heart. You want this belief to be in your heart. So I can go on and on and on. Denise, uh, hopefully it's something. There's a lot of other things that I, I, I would uh, want to, I mean, a ton of things that I could talk about, but I really want us to make sure you got a plan, do the plan, check the plan, and then adjust the plan. Plan, do, take action, adjust the plan. Plan, do, check, adjust. Plan, do, check, 
adjust in every area of your life, not just the business, work on you more than you work on your business. I'm going to turn it back over to you, Pastor Denise. Oh, my goodness. Mr. John Peavy. I see that is what I mean. Mr. John Peavy, what you did, you stir it up. You, you stir some stuff up. You know how you, when you, you, know how your grandmother used to make a, a good old uh, uh, vegetable soup? And, you know, sometimes <laughs> it was, you know, it kind of settle at the bottom of the pot. You had to get that big old wooden spoon and go all the mm-hmm. way down to the bottom and, and stir it up. And that's kind of mm-hmm. what you did today. You went all the <laughs> way down to the bottom and just stirred us up. And I'm telling you, family, if, if this does not prepare you for what Melanie McGill are going to lay out tonight, then, you know, maybe this is not your season. But, uh, you know, John Peavy said Mel and Amy Gill are going to tell you exactly what to do. That's without a shadow of a doubt. John Peavy also said that, you know, he, he looked at other compensation plans, and his question was, can the average person do this? Can the average person do that what they were doing? Other compensation plans, no. you got to put a lot of money, a lot of money up front to do what they're doing. But can the average person do what Mel and Amy Gill are offering us the team of the network? Yes, the average person can do it. But he also said that the price of success, one must suffer the failure that comes along with it. And you're faced with it. Like he said, some are going to come in, some are going to stay, some are going to leave. But that's not your focus. That's not what you focus on, the ones that come, the ones that go. You keep going. Amy said many times, this is a number game. It's a number game. But, John, you said something that really sticks out. I mean, kind of kind of puts it all in a nutshell. The work that we're all going through, the work that we're doing to build our business, to build, to get to one star, two star, five star, all the work really is a learning process. All the no's, the people that come, the people that go, the failures that you face, the hardships, the days you get up, you don't feel like doing it, the people that you need to talk to. Like you spoke with 100 people in one month, and one person signed up. But those 100 people you talked to, maybe were not necessarily to sign up, to sign up, but it was all a learning process to do what? You, you bet. That's the thing. It, was, it made me, especially the people that say, oh, I can't talk. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't talk. As a matter of fact, you know what, uh, Pastor Z, let me take one minute. You know, I, let me give that eulogy, that eulogy for I can't, you know, and it's one of my favorite stories, you know, replacing I can't thinking with I can thinking, you know. Um, many people, it's about a fourth grade teacher uh, who devised a creative way for her students to stop thinking in the terms of I can't. You know, early one morning in the school year, she asked the class of 31 students to take out a clean sheet of paper and write down words, um, I can't, in big capital letters, you know, on the page. And then she asked the students to um, just say what they wrote down. And one said, I can't do 10 push-ups. I can't eat only one cookie. Um, you know, I can't do long division. You know, I can't get Debbie to like me and all these different things. You know, when it's completed, she asked the students to fold up the paper Drop them into an empty shoe box on her desk. Once all the papers were collected, Donna put the lid on the box and tucked it under her arm, and she said, follow me outside. On the way down the hall, she stopped at the, um, uh, the custodian's office and grabbed the shovel, and they went to the playground. You know, and they went down, and, you know, she dug a hole in the ground, and digging, it took about 10 minutes uh, because all the kids wanted to have a turn. She dug, dug in there, too. Then she turned to the students and asked them to form a circle around the grave and join hands and heads. And, and here is the eulogy that she gave. She said, friends, we gather today to honor the memory of our camp. While he was with us on earth, he touched the lives of everyone, some more than others. His name, unfortunately, has been spoken in every public building, school, city hall, capitals, even in the White House. Today... We have provided I can't with his final resting place. He is survived by his brother and sisters. I can, I will, I'm going to right away. And they're, they are not as well known as their famous relatives and are not as strong and powerful yet. Perhaps someday, with your help, they will make even a bigger mark on your world, in your world. May I can't rest in peace 
and may everyone present pick their lives up, move forward in his absence. Amen. Now let's take an offer. Now go back over to you, Pastor Denise. <laughs> All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> May he rest in peace. May he never rise again. Not even in the resurrection. <laughs> 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 Woo! Boy, my phone is blowing up, John. My phone is blowing up. You know, family, you know, this is what you call anointing. You know, this is this is anointing. When God gives you the gift to speak words that can stir your heart. These are words we need to hear. This is history in the making. This day right here is history in the making. And we are being prepared for great success. Is it going to be easy? You've already heard. Each step is going to get harder and harder. It depends on just how focused you are. How bad do you really want it? How bad? What What is it going to cost you? Consider the cost. You know, you have to consider the cost. Why is success so difficult? It's simple, but it's not easy. But it can be done. It can be That's done. Right. And the reason why your the reason why your business will succeed or fail, the John Peavy said, is gonna be because of you. Stop looking at people and blaming them for what you cannot do. Stop thinking someone else is gonna get there before you. Remember, the ones that make it are the ones that want it just as bad as everybody else. So family, you have heard words of wisdom today. I pray you will apply them and prepare yourself for great success, but also consider the cost. Think about those 100 people John P. B. spoke with and only one said yes. What was the reason for speaking to all those people? Not necessarily to get them into your business, but for personal development, so that you can go forth in great confidence, not being afraid or scared that someone's going to tell you no. You need those no's for other reasons. It's only going to make you bigger. It's only going to make you stronger. John P. V. you are a jewel. We thank you. I tell you, so I tell you, you're my secret weapon. <laughs> when you get you in the car, he's going to kick your butt in a loving way. And we appreciate you greatly. Appreciate you greatly. Well, my goodness. Mm-hmm. No, we appreciate you. We'll appreciate, we appreciate you guys. Um, uh, those, um, anything, if there's anything that you guys can remember, work harder on yourself and your mindset than you do on your business because many of us have had many years and years and years of negative and, you know, those different things, and that's what's stopping us. you got to change your perspective. I can, and ain't nothing going to stop me. It's, it's a constant battle, you know. Fear always trying to get you to stop, I mean, because it don't want you to succeed, you know. There are forces that don't want you to become, you know, if you could be financially independent, so you can do what you're supposed to do in your kingdom, in the kingdom, and in in your community, all the different things. And man, I can't I can't allow Pastor Denise to 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 have these millions of dollars coming in because she's going to do this. Think of all your dreams and goals. So there's opposition that's coming, negative thinking, negative mindsets, and those different things. And the more when those come, well, you got to speak the positive things and make those become the dominant thoughts. In your, so I, I'm sorry, when I get to if a lot of things is going, but Pastor Denise, I love and appreciate you guys. We have a we have a, a company that there is, hear what I'm saying, there is no other company like Team Effort International that has a compensation plan that will pay you consistently every single week and every month. Got points, points on, and wait till you see the new compensation plan video that I'm working on. This is on wow. when 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 I, I had to stop and I'm waiting on for Mel and Amy so I can finish that. All I need is the the last working, especially on the on the on, on the residual side. And when that come out, it's gonna be short, yeah. sweet, to the point, fifteen minutes. Mm. That they gonna sign Ooh. up. Yes, they are. <laughs> I can't wait to see. It. I can't wait to see that. Woo! Goodness, <laughs> I can't wait to see that. My goodness. <laughs> Is that Dr. Kevin Bond? Come on. Can't hold that excitement back. <laughs> um, oh, oh, incredible. Let the caller say amen. Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. <laughs> wow. Amen. Incredible. Amen. Good to hear John. Good to hear your voice. That's the next. That's the day. Good to hear everybody today, John. No doubt about it, man. You're amazing, man. We thank God for you, man. Thank you so much for the wisdom. I was taking copious notes. I hope everybody on the call was taking their notes today. I know Pastor Nix was, and we just thank God for you guys. What an incredible day. 
incredible call. Mel and Amy Gill, Mr. Gill, thank you so much. But most of all, thank everybody on the line today. I tell you, I go back, Pastor Nice and John, I just go back to being in the right place at the right time, but the fact that we are definitely in a position and timing of this business that will be unprecedented. It's already started already with my video talk, but unprecedented, again, with 10 and then trimmed by 10. Just incredible what's happening to everybody. And like John said, ladies and gentlemen, you just got to keep going. Mel talks about it all the time. Never, never give up. I know John loves that quote. Never, never give up, ladies and gentlemen. You deserve it. And, of course, you will succeed if you just never, never give up. Wow, incredible. Well, Pastor, I got some awesome quotes for you guys, and I hope they bless you along with what John is to share with us today as well. Whenever you're ready, we have some awesome quotes for you today. Man. And yes, sir. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Well, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. In honor, uh, this is in honor of Pastor Dale coming back with us, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Next level success is our theme today, and for the rest of the week, next level success. And here's what William Faulkner says. He says, "Always dream and shoot higher than you know you can do. Don't bother with just being better than your contemporaries or predecessors." Try being better than yourself. That's what John was talking about today. Continue to work on you, ladies and gentlemen, each and every day, whatever it takes. Carl Jung says, I am not what happens to me. I am what I choose to become. Woo! Y'all like that one? Oh, man. Make a choice and stick to it, ladies and gentlemen. Eleanor Roosevelt says, Pastor Denise, Pastor Dale, and, and John, we gain strength and courage and confidence by each experience we, which we really stop to look fear in the face. We must do that which we think we cannot. Woo, that's what John was talking about today, ladies and gentlemen. You must look it into the face and say, I will get this done. I will help my community. I will help my family. I will help my church. Whatever is inside your heart, ladies and gentlemen, you must succeed. You must accomplish it. You must get it done. You must do it. Mahatma Gandhi says, strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from indomitable will. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to have the will, the will of a rhino, the will of the eagle, the will of a lion. Whatever you got to have, ladies and gentlemen, you must have un indomitable will to keep moving forward. The last quote of the day, ladies and gentlemen, comes from Goth. He says, whatever you can do or dream, you can. Begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. Back to you, Pastor Denise, John, Dr. God bless you. Thank you. Dr. One Star, Kevin Vaughn, Atlanta, Georgia. This has been a powerful call, and it's to set you up and to prepare you for success. Uh, you know, John Peter said, only a few select will apply the steps that it takes to get there. You need to examine yourself today. Well, are you that few? Are you the one? Are you the one of the few that are willing to take the steps to get there? And he says that if you fail, it's only going to be because of a lack of singular focus on what it is you really want. Do you really know what you want? Think about that because this day could unfold that. As you go forth with the right attitude, staying focused, and being willing to take the action to do it, this is the day that's going to set aside for you. Now, you can take this day and run with it. Or you can wait for another 20 years and hope that they come around again. But this is the day the Lord has made. And I will rejoice in this day and be glad in it. Before we close out, Pastor Dell, are you by any chance on the call? I know you're probably listening, but can you, are you there to unmute and say anything? <laughs> Pastor Dell, I just want to check before we close out. And if not, we'll catch you. Uh, we had a great leader call last night. But anyway, family. Prepare yourself for the call tonight. I heard that Vicki is yeah. going to have a long. Hello, is that Pastor Dale? No, this is Vicki. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hi, Vicki. <laughs> I knew you would be there. <laughs> I know that you're planning a big launch party with Dayton, Ohio, and Louisville, and also you're trying to get to, what was the other location you're trying to get aboard? In Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Yeah, so she's, and, and they're preparing a big pre launch party. So uh, after the call tonight, when Mel lays on the line, we, you're ready to go for it, right, Vicki? You're an entire team, right? Yes. You know You know what I said? Some people make it happen. Some people watch it happen. Some people ask what happened and make what happens to you happen right now. 
Beyonce, right. you make it make it happen right now. And uh, and this is the day. I mean, I mean, this is like one of those lifetime opportunities that's that's before you. And uh, so you decide what you're going to do with it. Uh, Mickey, thanks for coming in. John TV is amazing, isn't he? Oh, I'm so proud. That's my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Well, you know, I like to keep this call going because I get so excited. We've gotten so much, so much wonderful information to chew on. Uh, but take this, listen to it, look at your notes, read them, have a made-up mind as you go forth this today because this is the beginning of new beginnings. Once again, John TV, thank you so much. We so love and appreciate you. Uh, Mr. T, show me the money call. Well, I guess that we want, well, Mr. T, are you there? Because I'm pretty sure he's going to just have everybody wait uh, to join uh, the call with Mel tonight, which is 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I keep saying it. I know you already know it, but I'm just excited about it. So we will all gather there tonight. All of us are going to come back tonight at the same phone number and be ready to uh, start a new day, a new day. Family, thank you all for being here. It's been wonderful. I see you at the top. I see you at the top. I'll see you at the top. Now get off this phone and get out there and tell someone the great news that you had to, that you heard today. Get out there and share, share, share. Family, you are loved and you are appreciated. God bless you all and have a 